Why don't we know with certainty how the Egyptian pyramids were built? Was none of this information passed down from generation to generation? So what are the pyramids we're talking about? Uh, the pyramids of Egypt. Egypt. Pyramids of Egypt. So these are world famous structures. I think everyone knows what the pyramids are. The pyramids are situated right outside of Cairo, Al Qaira. And you have uh, three large pyramids of Giza, and then you have multiple smaller pyramids. And as you can see, here is an image of a human person. In, in, in comparison with the blocks that make up the pyramids, as you can see, the blocks are gigantic. This is a clearly an average sized human person here. <laughs> okay. Um, the pyramids are gigantic. And these are some of the pyramids that we have. The Pyramid of Khufu, the Pyramid of Khafre, the Menkaure Pyramid, the Red Pyramid, etc., etc., etc. So the pyramids are huge. You can't compare them with any existing structures, any existing buildings. Enormous, gigantic, ginormous, whatever word you want to call it. Uh, what about the Pyramid of Menkaure? Let's say the Pyramid of Menkaure. So this pyramid, as you can see, has a gigantic gaping hole in it. And the son of Saladin, Salahuddin Ayubi, his son tried for one year to destroy the small pyramid. The pyramid of Menkaure is a reasonably small pyramid, as you can see. It's not huge. And the son of Saladin, who was ruling Egypt at the time, he tried for one year to press his entire military might into destroying this pyramid. All he could do was create this one little gash in the pyramid. That's all. Took him one year. His, his armed forces, his soldiers were hard at work for one year trying to destroy the pyramid. All they did was make that little incision in the pyramid. They were all all they were trying to do is take out the dislodge the blocks, those, those, those uh, cubical blocks of stone and drop them for, from the pyramid. That work took them one year to make that little incision in the pyramid. And then you have pyramids that are way bigger than the Menkaure pyramid. And how were they constructed is the question. Now, we kind of have possibly some understanding. It was not aliens, it was not UFOs, it was obviously done by human beings. Tens of thousands of slaves possibly worked on the pyramids. It would have taken possibly years or decades to build one pyramid. And they would have used ramps, clay ramps, to, to, to transport each individual stone block up the pyramid and place into position. How did they do it so precisely? Nobody has an idea. So, this is... Of, these are works of monumental architecture, bigger than anything anyone has done. It would have taken incredible amounts of human labor, incredible precision, and decades of work to make one pyramid. And we, if you were to make, build a pyramid today using modern equipment, I'm not sure how it would be done. We don't have cranes that can lift blocks that blocks of stone that large. We don't have the means of possibly we do how to align everything so precisely and it's kind of it, it's kind of mind boggling we probably don't have any company or any organization today that can if we you know if i give the money okay here's 25 billion dollars go and make a pyramid in the next 5 years i don't think that they can do it even in the next 20 years that's so hard quarrying the stuff how do you quarry the rock and, and ensure each block of rock is exactly the right precise dimensions you would need metal tools, probably copper tools to do that. The copper came from, where did the copper came from, come from? What metal did they use? So big open questions remain. And, and in case some of the information was written down, it would have been written down on papyrus. Papyrus was the kind of uh, parchment or whatever you want to call it. it the, the papyrus is a reed that grows on the, along the banks of the, of the Nile. And that is purposed, that is converted into a sort of paper that was used in ancient Egypt. Now, papyrus is obviously fragile, delicate. It can't last centuries or thousands of years or millennia. That's why if records were kept, they would have crumbled into dust by now. And eventually, Egypt was Egypt had a downfall. It was first conquered by the Persians for a while. Then it was conquered by the Greeks. It was ruled by the Greeks. And then it came under, um, under the rule of Islamic uh, forces. And it's the entire population was converted to Islam. And today they don't even regard the pyramids as anything really important, personally, from their perspective. It's important only because it brings in tourist, touristic revenue. So eventually, I think uh, 
the records were lost people stopped caring people started seeing that seeing the pyramids as uh, pre-islamic pagan monuments that should be destroyed but could not be destroyed because they were too hard to destroy and the, they were just tolerated until they became uh, a source of touristic revenue and that's why we don't know for certainty with certainty how the pyramids were built